Take one. Take one. Have you heard the story about the giant, the stone, and the army? No? We're talking about it soon. Welcome back to another episode of the Sanctuary Church Kids Social Distancing Bible Study. This is Liam and Mommy and Baby Charlie. Thank you so much for joining us. We have a great lesson today and an yeah. even cooler arts and crafts. All right. <laughs> All right. Hi, yeah, guys. So we're going to be talking about David and Goliath today. All right. So the story goes this way. The Israelites, who were God's followers, were getting ready to fight a enemy army, okay? Now, David was an Israelite, and his brothers were fighting in this army. So here are his brothers, all right? We got David and the army, okay? Why are you so This crazy? army, I, hold on, hold on. So this army was being led by King Saul. Oh, man. King Saul was the first united king of Israel, okay? Okay. So here's the Israelites' army, and here is the enemy army. Oh, Okay. Man. Now, the enemy army, They're a giant. they had a secret, super, super weapon. human weapon, okay? Can I open the weapon? Yeah, here. This is the weapon right here. I don't know. Okay, so here is the weapon that they have, okay? This person, his name was Goliath, and he was a giant. He was super strong, super tall, and scary looking. I know. Okay, now. No, now, Goliath, he used to like to taunt the Israelites, and he would call them names make fun of them, oh, make fun God. of God, and, yeah, and say to them, come on, send me your strongest soldier. I'm going to fight him, and I'm going to beat him up, and if for some reason he wins, we'll serve you. But we all know I'm going to win, and you guys are going to end up serving us. So he used to do this. How is that insane? That is insane. He is the strongest. He was the strongest, and he was like, send me your strongest, and I'm going to beat him up. So, right? So he kept doing this over and over again. Now, remember David? We talked about him a little bit ago. Mm -hmm. David came over to the um, to the Israelites' camping yeah. ground, and he was bringing his brothers food. And when he got there, what? yeah, well, he was, you know, they were hungry. So when he got there, he heard Goliath making fun of the Israelites and making fun of God and calling them names. And he got very, very upset because the Israelites, I know, the Israelites were not doing anything. So he figured out a way to get in front of King Saul. And when he what? got to him, he said, I want to fight Goliath. He's so win. King Saul said to him, I don't really think that you can do that. You're very small and you're just a boy and you don't know how to fight. Yes, he does. And, well, that's what David was like, I can totally do this. I can take care of myself. I have God. Right next to him. Yep. You. Right and next to right him. Next to me. Right next to you. And he will help me through this just like he helped me protect my sheep when I killed the lion and a bear. A lion and a bear. Like, he actually did that. So he's like, I got this. I can do it. And King Saul said to him, Yep, so King Saul said, okay, if you feel that confident about it, let's go ahead and do it. Let's suit you up. And he goes and puts all this armor on him. It's too heavy. And it's too heavy. <laughs> yeah, it's too heavy. Doesn't I think you heard this story before. He does not need that armor at all. Right, so David is, says, you know what? I cannot wear this armor. It's too heavy. I'm just going to go out there and find him without it. Yeah. So... He grabs a sling, oh, and he grabs five smooth stones, and this is all he carries to go fight Goliath. Okay, now it's a giant rope. What? A giant. No, a sling. It's like a like a rope, and then it would like you would put a, a rock at the end of it, and yeah. you would sling it and just throw it. 
So he gets up to Goliath, and Goliath is a little bit upset because he said, you know, I asked them to send me the baddest, biggest, strongest person that they have, and they send me this little boy. So he just says, you know what, come here and I can, so that I can kill you. And so David gets up to him, grabs his sling, puts a rock in there, slings it and hits him right on the forehead and kills him with one shot. What? Right? Now the enemy army That's sees this. That's a strong this. one. Like yeah. <gasps> yes. Now the enemy army sees this and they are scared. And they say, you know what? We're getting out of here. So they start retreating. And then the Israelites see this and they just run them out and win the war. Well, whoa, whoa, they win that battle anyway. Okay, so what do you think Goliath represents in the story? Um, I don't know. Okay, so Goliath is kind of like those, those things that, that are scary, that are so big. Yeah, he- for you to complete. Like for example, like if you had a big exam coming up or learning how to ride your bike, or maybe a Goliath could be just peer pressure. Somebody, you know, your friends are trying to make friends. Yeah, what I was trying to do right. when I was in kindergarten. Yeah, and David represents you, your confidence in yourself and what you believe, right? And when you're confident in yourself and in what you believe and what you've learned, then you can take on any Goliath. And I think that's really the point of the story is, you know, being confident in who you are and what you believe and who you believe in and that those things are going to drive you and through that Goliath and you're going to take on that Goliath and you're just going to take him down. Like this. Yeah, like like that. Driving a car right in front of it. That's right. And knock him over with the on yep. Pretty cool, right? So don't forget, you guys can take on your Goliaths. You just have to have armor, confidence in yourself. Yeah, and just like a slingshot. <laughs> and a slingshot, yeah, that would probably help. All right, guys. We are ready for our arts and crafts project. Yay! <laughs> All right, guys, we are back and we have a pretty cool project set up. Oh. Guys, so we are making Play Doh. Yeah. It is super easy. Me? You guys can probably find the ingredients for this Mine. right at home. You don't even have to leave your house, which is great because we can leave our house right now. Because the virus. <laughs> yes. So, what we have I is. Wait, this. listen. We have what? What do we have? Um. <laughs> Flour. Flour and salt. And water. Yep. Yep. So. Well, it actually has stuff in it. Well, that is the salt in there. So what we have here and is. Salt, crunchy stuff. Yeah. So what we in have is one uh, cup of flour. Oh, let me see. This. Boom. Boom. And then, mm-hmm. hold on, hold on. So the reason why we, got, we blended it is because we only had like rock salt. So we had to blend it first. But it is half a cup of salt and half water a cup of water. And just And we're just going to pour it in. And then you just kind of mix it. Okay. All right, care, careful. Now, this is really easy to make. Like I said, it's just these three ingredients. And then if you want, you can separate it. And if you have food coloring at home, oh. you can go ahead and, and like add different colors to it. We don't Do have we food have? coloring, so we're just going to kind of do it this way. Guys, if, it, if you feel like it's getting a little bit soupy, you can just add a little bit more flour. And if like it's ours really looks like uh, it's a little bit too... Um, it feels like almost. Dry, then you can just add a little bit of water. Hold on, Liam, I think this is it here. We're gonna take it out. Let's see. Nice. It's plate. Yeah. Da. Yeah. Oh man. All right, you guys, there you have it. So remember. It's so cool. Liam, what were the ingredients? Water, flour, and salt. Salt. Okay. <laughs> so so fun. remember, it is whatever the amount of um, flour, it's uh, half the amount of water and salt. 
<laughs> Ooh, you guys should try some. Uh, oh man, that's so cool. Oh no, ah. that needs a little more flour. Well, we fix this and we make sure that it looks the right wait, consistency. Wait, stop, stop, stop. We're gonna go ahead and say goodbye. You ready? Yeah. Okay. Bye. Guys, thank you so much for watching. watching. Don't forget to share, like, and subscribe. Yeah. Bye. Bye.